Why did you decide to write a book about Tuscan wine? Well, a book about Tuscan wine, that's for a very long time thinking about this idea. Actually, I went to Florence for the first time in my life 10 years ago when I was a student. I was studying in Europe for my master's degree of journalism. I traveled to Toscana for the first time. I was so impressed by Florence, the city, and the Renaissance culture. And then when I returned to China, I became a wine writer and educator. Then I started to realize that people's knowledge in China about about Italian wine or about Toscan wine is so limited. Uh, I think the image of wine is very important in China market. So we always relate a certain wine region or region with a style of the wine and the price of the wine in China. But the image of Italian wine in general in China, I have to say it's still a zero. So they have no idea. Well, uh, I think Italy is a great country for wine and Toscana is the great region for wine. But unfortunately, the image or the, uh, the people's knowledge about uh, uh, Italian wine and Toscan wine in China is still very limited. And uh, when we talk about Toscani, uh, people rather think about Renaissance culture or the capital city Florence rather than wine. I think uh, the image of uh, the Toscan wine, uh, normally uh, like uh, the County Classical, the Black Rooster, are more, a little bit more well known, better known than the other DOCG regions. But in general, it's still, uh, I, I can say, not the mainstream among Chinese wine drinkers. Might it be useful to compare Tuscan activities to the greater player France, which is rooted on Chinese markets with several initiatives? Well, I think uh, um, the promotion uh, or the brand building of Italian wine are still uh, much lagging behind compared to French wine. I have to admit this. Um, because uh, the French producers, they came to China much more often than the Italian producers. For example, uh, during the peak season, each uh, one region from uh, France, they came to big cities in China once every month. Especially in October, November, December, the peak period, then we have the tasting, French tasting, almost every day, almost every day, sometimes two times per day. And then when it comes to Italian wine, from what I know, uh, for example, the Vino Nobis, they, are, they have a tasting in China only once every year. And also the uh, other Toscan wine, they came to China not as frequently. And also sometimes they came to China only for one city and very small, I mean the number of producers coming. But uh, the French always come together. They always come the whole region, the whole producers, around 150 and uh, 30, they always come together. They are more, how to say, more solid and more working closely together. So I think in this way, uh, Italian wine, they need to make more efforts in this, in this way. What do you think of our new creative concept? Tuscany taste and of the image that represents it? Well, I think a symbolic image will certainly help uh, for the brand building in, in China market, this is for sure. And I saw the, the new, new image of Toscan wine. And uh, personally, I like it because of the color, because red color is a very symbolic color for China and very prosperous color, it's a good color.